This one's got titanium on the bottom. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Nice. <laughs> oh, it's a dust. Yeah. By the way, if you're wondering what was going on there, it was this. So all it was was pieces of titanium sheet metal bolted to the bottom of the RC cars. Now, I originally wanted to do this to my Hobeo Hyper VS, but this titanium is so difficult to drill, all my drill bits kind of melted. And Martin, who had the, these plates on the bottom of his X-Max, he said he got to drill it really, really slowly, so I will give that another go. Anywho, other videos coming up. I know I've been a bit lazy when it came to making videos. I've been focusing on other business stuff. But anyway, to come we have fitting this four-stroke engine into this crawler. I've got the transmission here. I've just got to figure out a way of mounting it all, so that's coming very soon. I've got another Devastator to unbox and do a little review on. And then we've got this all-metal crawler here, which I need to get a body for. A lot of you guys said you want to see a Jeep Gladiator and I agree that would look sick so that's probably what I'm going to order we got another plastic model engine to blow up here so we're going to be doing this one soon um, hopefully all these pieces are going to go to the moon I need to get a new suspension kit for the Land Rover because it's just way too solid. So the person that had it before me, he had it as a work van and he used to put a lot of weight in the back. So the rear springs, they're like super crazy hard and it's literally got, uh, probably hard for you to see, but there's not much movement there. We had a forklift truck under it the other day and we got this wheel lifted up to about this height. All the flex was on the front axle. In the rear, there was like no flex at all. So I'm looking at this Gwen Lewis extreme suspension kit so i'm probably going to get that and be fitting that fairly soon and i know the monster truck needs parts i need axles i need pretty much everything and that's going to happen fairly soon as well and back to the land driver i need to get some different wheels and tires these things on the road are horrendous it vibrates it shakes they're loud so I don't know if any of you guys know about 4x4s, what tires should I get? I want to get a mud tyre, I, I don't mind it if it's a little bit noisy, but I don't want all this constant shaking and it's just impossible to balance these tyres. But they have to be 37 inch because I don't want to get anything smaller, I've already got some smaller ones there and if I go too small it's just going to look silly because if I cut these arches out and put these great big massive ones on there, um, it needs some big tyres to kind of fill them up. Oh, and in the next couple of days, we've got this great big massive group RC bash coming up. We're probably going to go to a few different locations, take loads of RC cars, loads of carnage, and there's going to be a video about that very soon.